do we do that at the same time? <laughs> indeed, indeed. Welcome back to another Japan snack box. Well, it's not another box, but it's the other half of the last box. So we are filming this a month after we filmed the last one. Uh, life is kind of caught up. It's coming up to Christmas. Things are getting busy. Mm -hmm. And I'm in England. So we're quite far apart, which makes it very difficult to actually film anything together. But hopefully we'll be going on some more adventures soon. It's kind of weird, isn't it? And we're right in the middle of double lockdown. So there's nothing to do. I can't even leave Glasgow. I'm not allowed to. It's kind of mad. <laughs> we might have to find some individual uh, adventures to go on. We've always got Japanese sweets out of date Japanese sweets. For clarification, I think we should mention that this company sent us these things whilst they were still in date. We have held on to them for quite a long time. So it's not Sushi Candy's fault that they're out of date. After the Calm is a travel channel and there is a tenuous link to travel here, I guess. But I think personally, I'm very much looking forward to getting back out there with you and uh, getting on the road. In the meantime, Let's check out some local delicacies. I wonder if I should pick from this menu. I've actually lost the menu since. Great. <laughs> this is what we've got left. Oh, that looks dodge. That actually looks really disgusting. Is it the one that looks like a shit in plastic? It does look a bit like a dog turd, doesn't it? But it's flat on one side. Let's try this one. Dog turd. That's my choice. Great. It's very hard. Has yours gone solid? Yeah. Oh, we should read the date. What's the date on it? Yeah. Oh, actually, it's not that bad. Only went out of date last October. month. October 2020. So it's just November now. So it should, it's literally like a very light turd. Mm. Mm. It's just sugar in a sponge. Yeah, it's kind of got a, like a spongy, crispy interior and then a hard That's outside. It. It's called a fugashi and it says a brown sugar fluffy dried wheat sweets. Six out of 10, that's not bad. Oh, we're we rating them now. People are coming to us to uh, find out what they should be eating, I guess. Are you coming to us to find out what you should be eating? <laughs> Okay, so this, I'm gonna pick one next. This looks like a biscuit inside seaweed. Oh yeah. Okay, this is called Ume no Kamaki, and it's a rice cracker, soy sauce, and plum flavor with seaweed. It's very nice, actually. I mean, just putting it in my mouth. I really love the taste. Mmm, it's really nice. No, I'm gonna go for this one, it's really cute. <laughs> oh, this is the one we saw at the beginning of the previous episode. Mine's a, I think, a hamster. This could be absolutely anything. It could be just pl plutonium. Oh, uh, it's blooming circle. Oh, mine's got a pube in it. I don't know if you can see that. It smells like washing powder. get like smelly gel pens. These taste like those gel pens smell synthetic, candy, weird. Let's try these chaps. What are these called? Okay, they're very delicate. They are called kinakomochi, round shaped fluffy rice cracker, ro roasted soybean flavor. Okay, they look like the soy balls. You sent to me in the post that Royal Mail thought was drugs. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Mmm. What? It's kind of like umami popcorn. They remind me of um, candy floss, but with crunchy, maybe slightly burnt sugar on the outside. They're really, really delicate and soft. Like pillows kind of, of like sugar. Like butter kiss popcorn, but with something else. It looks like bubble gum. 
It's called Awadama Cider Candy. Oh, do you know what it looks like when you open it? It looks like the yeast balls we got from that Asian shop in Glasgow, which makes rice wine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Hmm. This tastes very familiar. This tastes like a standard candy that you could get in a British corner shop that you'd have like after school on the way home. I mean, I I don't want to eat this anymore because it's taking ages. So the next one I'm going to, I don't know if you've got the same picture, but I've got a Pikachu square. Oh, it says on the menu, Pokemon chewing gum. It's got a weird kind of wrapping on inside the wrapping. You definitely need chewing gum. That's a lot of chewing gum, actually. It looks like the size of a small chocolate bar. Yeah, this is a big piece of gum. It does fill your mouth. Have you just swallowed yours? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm. Country man. <laughs> I'm tree man. It's literally a biscuit, vanilla or cocoa flavour. Mine is vanilla. Mine's vanilla. Oh, it's cute. It looks like a little pancake. It's essentially a, a white, very doughy co cookie with uh, chocolate chip in it. Kind of tastes a lot like those kind of cheap cookies you buy for a, a pound in as, as you say like a news agent okay i'm gonna go for i swear we've eaten this before didn't we eat this on the last one i think it was a similar marshmallow thing but it had winnie the pooh on it i hope it's going to be matcha flavored based on the guy who's got a cup of tea mm. unexpected flavor in the middle And it's a marshmallow filled with chocolate paste. Fujia home pie. I'm sold by the gold packaging and the word pie. I mean, the description on the menu literally just says home pie. <laughs> Controversially, it appears to be a biscuit. A pie at all. It really does just look like a cheese twist or something. These are like nice shortbreads. Yeah. yeah, salty, sweet, slightly cheesy. I'm not getting cheese. Do you want to check the date? You can even write a little message on the back. The packaging says, message. Um, last one. She's the last one. This is the end of the box. Do you think this is going to be the same as the last one? Just a huge... Oh, huge. <laughs> uh, oh, it's another corn snack. It's cinnamon apple. You can smell... You can smell the apple. And the cinnamon. Three, two, one. Munch. Mmm. That is good. You wouldn't think this goes together with apple and cinnamon, would you? I think that's what we've learnt with these snacks, is like, there's a real kind of sense of like, let's just try anything. Try any combination of things. I don't care how mad it sounds. And sometimes it's a massive fail, but sometimes it's a really cool, interesting thing. This makes me miss Japan. And also kind of some of the things that we may not have tried but are out there looking forward to getting back on the road again and in the meantime we'll be doing small weird little things either on our own or all together in the uk also we've got our new merch store up and running check it out if you like our new logo from stephanie carr she very kindly delivered that for us bags coats the coats one's particularly hilarious because the guy's looking very very unimpressed that he's wearing it <laughs> so check that out and of course hit subscribe 
if you like what you see. And we'll see you again soon. One thing I've just realised is that this on the menu says it's animal poo shaped candy. I've actually been eating Palma Violet flavoured animal poo. Right. That's the best poo I've ever tasted. Yeah.